Right then, this seems to be, is it laurel? That sort of plant with these flowers, there's loads of them. Because if this was once a landscaped garden area, see, the seeds from these flowers fly in the air and they get everywhere. I've never seen, it could be that I hadn't actually walked out in May here before. Because don't forget, I don't come out that often. And it's just amazing, isn't it? So, so beautiful these are. I just met one woman and a dog. Something just told me. To go this way. It said, go this way. Dude, skirt the beacon. And do Lady's Edge and then come back up through Holford. Forget old Foxon today. That's what, that's what something just told me to do. Because I'm actually down in Wecombe Hamlet, the Hamlet of Wecombe now, where I'll be turning off and going up, almost parallel to the route I would have taken just a few minutes ago back there, but more protected, until I've got into my rhythm with my walk, and everything settled a bit more, which is, is starting to happen. So I'm coming into the Hamlet of Wecombe, and I'll be turning right in a minute, following it through as if I'm gonna go up Wecombe Coombe which I haven't done for a long time and it is absolutely beautiful but today no I'm going to do I'm going to be above Wecombe Coombe walking up to the, I've got to do a bit of a climb up to the picnic benches and the like a, a big plaque all about the the, the area, and then um, I'm going to follow the lower path back round, hugging the hillside above Wecombe Coombe, and then pick up Lady's Edge. That's plan. Well, it's Plan B at the moment. tuck my trousers in in a minute. I should have done that back there. There we go. We're still following the Coleridge way. There is a little bridge, look. Over the trip trap bridge we go. There's a house there. Yeah, so we're leaving that area. We've had a bit of shade. I just think it's a good idea for me to stay in the shade a bit longer. That's what, that's what made me make this decision stay in the shade a bit longer so that's what I'm gonna do and it doesn't matter if I don't feel very good by the time I get I've gone round the Beacon Hill I might have to head back for the bus because I'm not 100% and um, Right, I hold on, I always have trouble with this. Let me just turn off this and the... Let me turn off the video a minute. Right then, coming up Tick Lane. I've already spotted one tick I squashed on me. So I've had to put the trek on. Not as much as I did last week. I didn't put any on my skin. I put it around my shoes, my socks my sleeves and a little bit on my back on my t-shirt I mean the contacts are renowned for them and limes where I got my limes from 
So, I've got the repellent on, not the killer. The killer's at home. Deet. It's at home. Bloody gorgeous, isn't it? This was a landscape garden, by the way. Every time you brush past something, that's when they get you. But with my repellent on, hopefully they'll leave me alone. Now, it'll be interesting to see if it affects my asthma and my blood pressure. Because after last week, It's, we're not quite sure if it was the wrong Perindopril brand that I was having. A combination of that and the spray. So I did put rather too much on last week. So we'll, we'll be able to tell one way or another. Getting there. It's still better coming this way. <sighs> Protected by a few trees and bushes than going up where I was going to go up. <sighs> where I normally go up and it don't bother me. <sighs> um, when it's really, I, I tell lies because. I do go out when it's really hot. But I haven't had any issues with it. So, anyway, we don't really want to go on about my biology. Let's just carry on up here. Take another picture. Turn the camera off. Save the film. Save it, shall But it's all part of a walk. It's all part of it, really. It wouldn't be a real walk if you didn't discuss any medical issues you had or anything. If you know what I mean, because I've actually, I actually caught limes about five years ago, four years ago, and uh, I got treated very, very quickly. But I was still getting bitten by ticks. They're not all Lyme's ticks. I had a mass invasion five years ago. Now, it's like I saw a tick back there with a big bag of eggs on its back. Now, if one of them gets on you, you're going to have thousands of them on you. Nymphs. That must probably what happened to me five years ago. But I love this place so much, I can't stop coming here. And I've decided today that it's the summer, it's light nights, I don't have to get that three or four o'clock bus. I'm just gonna, I just hope there's a train. That's all I can hope for. And I'm just going to forget about it. Worrying about it. But I won't be doing a fox and I might... I might walk through there. There's Weakham. Now the coom I was going to go in was the other side of that one. The one I was going to climb. But look how hot and exposed it is. So... I'm glad at the moment, because I'm still adjusting to the walk that I've chosen this route. <sighs> Look at the difference, I'm right in the shade. I've got to go all the way up the top, I can see the gate. I've already drunk one juice. <sighs> I've, already, I've already drunk one juice, and I'm going to have a bottle of water. 
half a bottle of water when I get out the shop. And I'm going to eat my chocolate bar if it's not melted. Might not have melted yet. I don't know if I can see the gate. Maybe that's a different gate I can see. I don't know if that is the one. I'll turn it off for a minute. Right, there just used to be a larger plaque up here, but it's gone. I'm sure they called it something like the plantation. Maybe they changed the name. I've just seen one couple going off. Looked like they were covering themselves in spray. Um, this is a little... My sister Jude would have come here. Yeah, she would have come here. I'm going to follow that track around the beacon and then pick up Lady's Edge. If I'd done the other route, I would have been right, probably just about getting up there now. It's a steep climb, don't forget. And you're having to walk along the top there. We're gonna meet in a minute. There might not be a lot in it. I've just sat under this lovely oak tree, having a bar of aero before it melted. I stink of a trek. Stink of it. I've drunk a bottle of fruit juice. I've still got um, water, t three waters, and another fruit juice before I I've got plenty of water. I've got my hat, and I've put on some anti tick by uh, not chemical, it's a repellent, just in case. You have to be prepared. You never know what you're going to meet. <sighs> right, over now. I'll come back on again in a minute. Right, I'm just doing a video, just a brief one. I managed to climb to nearly the top of the hill. That is Beacon Hill up there where the trig point is. I, I'm not going up there. That's Weakham Coombe all the way down there. Hamlet of Wecombe's further, and then beyond those trees where I walked earlier, there's another little coombe that I would have come up. And I could be sort of over there by now, probably. Could be. But of course, there's somebody, somebody there now I've put the video on. Leave it on for a minute. Well, that's some um, Beacon Hill, where the choke point is. I've got my hat on. You could probably walk up onto it from here as well. It might go on a while. Look at those views over there. Look. I've been up and down that coombe, and it's very beautiful, even in the autumn. Actually, it's gorgeous in the autumn, and quite often you get deer um, all around here. 